Back in late 2021, I highlighted 40 notable visual novel YouTubers. If you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend checking it out since many of those channels are still alive and kicking. Since then, I found newer YouTube channels about visual novels that opened up since then, found old ones that I would have liked to include if I knew about them, or ones that I just stupidly forgot to mention. In this video, I'm going to highlight 10 more visual novel YouTubers to consider checking out, all with their own strengths. The first one I'm going to talk about is one of the ones I feel stupid for forgetting to mention the original video, Amelie Dory. There's very few channels that talk about the history of Japanese visual novels and talking about Japanese-only visual novels in general. This channel does both in some interesting long-form content. Check this channel out if you're interested in these types of Japan visual novel-specific content. One channel that I just happened to find after I made my original video was Lin Lin Lavender. This is an interesting channel because as said above, I think more channels relating to the Japanese language and visual novels would be nice to see. Lin Lin has a really interesting concept that she seems to advertise her channel as learning Japanese with otome, aka visual novels that cater to female readers. I covered a few otome YouTubers in my previous video, so it's nice to have one that seems to have more of a focus on reading otome in Japanese. Otome is just one of those low-key popular genres in visual novels that thankfully has solid YouTube content out there. So be sure to check out Lin Lin Lavender if you want to see more. The next channel I'm going to bring up is the fan translation group Daybreak Translations. This is the fan translation group that is doing things like translating the Akatsuki no Goe trilogy, Giniro Haruka by Toneworks, among other potential planned projects. I actually kind of wish fan translation groups had active YouTube channels like this. One of the nice things they do is show video previews of their upcoming translations. But what's doubly nice is that they actually have their own podcast from the main guy, Barry B interviews various people in the visual novel community, including yours truly. Definitely hit this channel up if you want to kill two birds with one stone with interesting visual novel related content. I finally found a visual novel YouTuber who makes similar content to me in Kojika. So far, he has made recommendation list videos similar to mine. For example, a video highlighting 10 short visual novels, another about 5 visual novels with a hacker. More importantly, looks like he's starting a series called Upcoming Visual Novels by the Month which I would think is a good compliment to my Visual Novel Monthly Recap, whereas I wait until the end of the month, Kojika likes to do this upcoming Visual Novels by the month before the month starts. If you'd like to see content similar to mine, but with a French accent, definitely consider this channel a chance. Highlighting one more Visual Novel Let's Reader is The Blue Shifting, who I found out because somebody mentioned him in the comment section of my previous video. While this person appears to do video games as well, it seems at least half, if not more, of his Let's Play content are actually popular Japanese original visual novels. One thing I like about this guy is that he's one of the few visual novel Let's Readers that actually shows his face during his videos, something that I'm surprised more visual novel Let's Readers do not do. If you are looking for more visual novel series focused essay is definitely consider Generic Video Essay Maker, who so far seems to prioritize making videos based off Umineko and The House in Fata Morgana. This person makes a mix of analysis videos, and more recently, tier list videos. If you're a fan of the genres of the two visual novels that Generic Video Essay Maker has made so far, definitely consider checking them out. Lucky Puyo is a visual novel reviewer who I noticed started shortly after I made my original visual novel YouTuber highlight video. He does make reviews on various media like video games and movies, but based on his banner and avatar, he does appear to want to mostly commit to visual novel videos. He likes to show his face in some of his videos, though in his case, usually at various moments of a video, like doing a brief narration or a comedy skit. He's also a very big Moege and especially Toneworks fan, and he's gone to the point of being one of the few people to do visual novel in-depth route retrospectives starting with Hoshiori Yumimurai's routes. He also seems to be one of the few people willing to openly do reviews of western original visual novels. So if any of his content seems interesting, give him a shot. A visual novel reviewer I consider very underrated is Tom S. He likes to cover a surprisingly varied amount of visual novels from Type Moon to Moige to even dark stuff like Dead and Aegis. I can just tell Tom S is both passionate, but also knows how to articulate his thoughts well in 5-20 to 20 minute video reviews. So give this guy a listen if you want another perspective on different types of visual novels. Have you ever been interested in more visual novel analysis videos? An extremely agitated hedgehog, someone who I mentioned in the previous video, made an alternate channel called Hedgehog's Nonsense, where she so far has made analysis videos on various episodes of the Higurashi series, and has even done one video for Doki Doki Literature Club. One thing I like about this channel is that she does something unique, 
where she does English dub voiceover for certain visual novel scenes when showing off very specific moments for the video. If you're interested in a mix of deep visual novel analysis videos, as well as English dub voice acting for visual novels, be sure to give Hedgehog's Nonsense's channel a shot. The final YouTuber I want to highlight is Nafi Napkin. One of my most favorite types of YouTube videos these days is multi-hour long retrospectives of some of my favorite game and show series. Given the relatively small amount of visual novel related content on YouTube in general, I was very pleasantly surprised to find someone who was willing to do multi-hour retrospectives of popular visual novels, including Subahibi, Mob Love Alternative, and Katawa Shoujo. So if you like multi-hour video essay retrospectives for visual novels, be sure to give this guy Napi Napkin a chance. And that is it, 10 more visual novel YouTubers. What are your thoughts on the YouTubers I decided to highlight this time around? And were there any notable visual novel YouTubers you thought I missed out on again, or in the previous video? Feel free to leave a comment below.